And now we are going to wire up the wires. Did I just say wire up the wires? I guess I did. All right, so there's one important thing to know here. Um, now, in the past, you've been using wires with these nice, strong pins on them. What we have now are wires that have the insulation and the, and the bare wire showing. So, the, uh, the red and black colors, of course, that's the insulation. But the actual electrical carrying part of this wire is the inner metal copper core. Um, it doesn't show copper color because these are tinned with solder, so they're silver. Um, but it's a copper wire, and it's these tips, the wires, that we need to get uh, good contact with the connector. So here's our friend. And we're going to loosen these up. And we know that the plus symbol on here is red, the minus symbol is black. So we are going to take the two reds, we are going to put the silver part inside the connector. We are not going to put the red part inside the connector, only the silver. Okay. And we screw it down, tighten it, and oops, this one uh, fell out of the connector. So this one's okay, but we got to have both of them in there. And we can't have the red part in there, only the silver part. So you can see that one of these is longer than the other. Uh, I'm going to take my wire strippers and make them both the same length. So we're just going to take a little bit of this off. Okay, so that's better. So now we'll get a good connection on both of those. Again, making sure we're looking at the plus side. Plugging both of the silver parts in here. And we are tightening down. Okay, let's make sure it's good and tight. Do a pull test on each wire individually and we're good. So now we have a good connection to the red wires. Let's do the same thing with black here. We're going to strip this one back of Tad. So we have a little bit more length. Take those two guys our gals and we plug them in here and tighten down make sure it's good and tight pull test on both all right we have a good electrical connection now and that's that. Alright, and so the last step for the battery box is let's plug this connector into the Arduino and let's route these other battery wires down here. They're going to go to the H bridge. Okay, there you go. And let's take this cover for the battery box and uh, put that on here for now so we don't lose it. Uh, nice thing too here is there's an on-off switch. So love this new little battery box they've got.